Hello everyone, very good afternoon. You are watching PME with the channel and also NCERT official. I am with you, Dharmendra Singh. Quickly, let me tell you uh, what we are going to do in this session. This session belongs to mathematics for class 9 student and the topic is Heron's formula part uh, second, which, me which means uh, part 1 we have already been done. Link is available on NCERT official. Whosoever missed this, you can go down to that and you can watch this and you will get a recapitulation. You will get a connectivity with the part second. So, uh, without making any more delay, yes, if you have any questions, any query, uh, information would be given to you that have been scrolling once you will watch your television screen during the live in between. So, you may call on to that number and also you may send your questions through mail on official mail ID for class 9 student. Okay, quickly let me introduce our guest for today's session. Please welcome Ms. Usha Pillai and she is joining us from campaigning school all the way from Bhopal, capital of Madhya Pradesh. I welcome you ma'am. Good afternoon. Ms. Pillai, so before uh, we go further, I want you to, uh, if you could brief a little bit, uh, last session, uh, some, some glimpse of the last session. If we can re recapitulate it, then we will go further. Yes, of course. So, good afternoon, students. In the last session, we have studied about Huron's formula, first part, where we have studied about to area, finding area of a triangle by using Heron's formula. So, if we are given a scalene triangle of sides A, B and C, then we can find the area of a triangle by root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is the semi-perimeter of a triangle, that is A plus B plus C upon 2, that is half of the perimeter. Now, in today's session, I am talking about area of different coordinators. Already you have studied this from 6 onwards, small formulas related to different coordinators. So, area of a rectangle is length into breadth. And if we are given a square of side A, then area of a square is a square. And area of a parallelogram, if base and height is given, we can write it as product of base and height P into H. And area of a rhombus whose diagonals are given, up given into detail. Suppose if we are given a rhombus with base and height, we can find the area by base into height itself. Now, last is area of a trapezium, that is half height into sum of the bases, that is half it into B1 plus B2. So, by applying these formulas, we can find the area of different coordinators, including Heron's formula. So, in the first question, we are given in a bar. The shape of quadrilateral APCD angle C equal to 90 degree, AB equal to 9, 9 meter, BC equal to 12 meter, CD 5 meter, and AD equal to 8 meter. So we have to find the area does it occupy. So here in this figure, first we can find the area of BCD. Why? Because here we are given a right angle triangle. We have already learned in the right angle triangle the area of a triangle is half this into height if base and height is given. So here half into 12 into 5 is 30 meter square. So now in this triangle, we are not given the length of side BD. So how to find it? In the right angle triangle, we can find the hypotenuse by using Pythagoras theorem. These all properties we are already studied. These all are continuation of seventh class syllabus. So now here, BD is equal to root of 12 square plus 5 square, that is, hypotenuse is equal to square root of base square plus perpendicular square, that is equal to 12 square is 144, 5 square is 25, the sum of these two squares are 169, so, so square root of 169 is 13 meter. Now we can find the area of this first triangle by using Heron's formula, where A equal to 9 meter, B equal to 13, and C equal to 8 meter. So, semi-perimeter S is equal to A plus B plus C upon 2, that is, and plus 13 plus 8 upon 2, that is 30 upon 2 is 10. So, we can find the area of angle ABD by using Heron's formula, root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus C, where S is 15 already we got, we can substitute these values, we get root of 15 into 15 minus 9 into 15 minus 13 into 15 minus 8. So 15 minus 9 is 6, 15 minus 13 is 2, and 15 minus 8 is 7. So the square root of this, we can take it as 6 root 35, because 15 can be written as 3 into 5, 6 is 6 itself, 
2 is here, square root we can take as 6 and the root 35 is an irrational number. How to find the value of this root 35? <coughs> By long division method, we can find the square root of 35 that is 5.92. That is 6 into 5.92 is 35.52 meter square. So area ABCD equal to <clears throat> we can find the total area by adding these two areas that is 30 plus 35.52 meter square. That is 65.52 meter square. <clears throat> In the second part, we are given the question, find the area of a quadrilateral ABCD in which AB is equal to 3 cm, BC is equal to 4 cm, CD is equal to 4 cm, <coughs> DA is equal to 5 cm, and AC is equal to 5 cm. So in this triangle, ABC, S is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 5 upon 2, semi perimeter is A plus B plus C upon 2, that is 12 upon 2, that is 6 cm. So area of triangle ABC equal to root of 6 into 6 minus 3 into 6 minus 4 into 6 minus 5. That is root of 6 into 3 into 2 into 1. <coughs> that is equal to 6 centimeter square. And if uh, we can Ms. find... Pillai, if, if you wish to have some water, you may please. Uh, there is no problem at all. As you are facing some problem, there is no problem at all. All right. Uh, so, uh, whosoever watching this program through <coughs> NCERT official, let me remind this thing to you. If you have any questions, any query, then uh, you can call us back on our telephone number. I uh, would like to give this information. You can see on your television screen again. It's double eight double zero four four zero five five nine. Yes, here you can call us back. And also, you may send your uh, questions, your suggestions through mail uh, on official mail ID for class nine, which is which is dts dot class nine at the red ciet dot nic dot in. And uh, do watch all the programs which has been providing by the NCERT officials. You will be benefited tremendously by these sessions. All right. So uh, once again, go back to Ms. Pillay. Are you okay now? Find the angle ACD. S is equal to 5 plus 5 plus 4 upon 2. That is 14 upon 2. Into 5 plus 5 plus 4 upon 2 is 7 centimeter. So now we can find the area of the angle ACD by root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus A. That is root of 7 into 2 into 2 into 3. That is 2 root 21. There also we can find the square root of 21 by long division method. That is 4.58. And we can get the area by multiplying this two. That is 9.16 centimeters square. Now the total area is area of triangle ABC plus ACD. That is 6 plus 9.16 equal to 15.16 centimeters square. Now in the third part, we are given a triangle and a parallelogram of the same base and the same area. If the sides of the triangle are given as 26 centimeter, 28 centimeter, and 30 centimeter, and the parallelogram stands on the base 28 centimeter, find the height of the parallelogram. So we are given the three sides as 26, 28, and 30. So semi-perimeter equal to a plus b plus c upon two. That is. 26 plus 28 plus 30 upon 2, that is 84 upon 2 is 42 centimeter. Already you are learned about how to find the semi perimeter and the area of a triangle with this formula. Now we can apply the values here, that is root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus A, that is root of 42 into 42 minus 26 into 42 minus 28 into 42 minus 30. Here we got square root of 42 into 16 into 14 into 12. That is root of 42 can be written as 6 into 7 and 4 fours are 16, 7 twos are 14, 2 six are 12. When we are taking out the square root 6 into 7 into 4 into 2, that is 336 centimeters square. So we can find the area of the parallelogram by dividing area by base, that is 336 upon base is given as 28. So we got the answer as 12 centimeter. Now in the next part, a rhombus is given. Rhombus shaped field has green grass for 18 hours to graze. 
some languages, some questions are different. So you have to understand what is the meaning of the question. If each side of a rhombus is 30 meter and its longer diagonal is 48 meter, how much area of glass field will each cow be getting? So in first triangle ABC, we are given A equal to 30, B equal to 30, and C is equal to 48 because all the sides of the rhombus are equal. So S is equal to 30 plus 30 plus 48 upon 2 is 108 upon 2 is 54 meter. Now we can find the area of angle BBC by Theron's formula that is sort of 54 into 54 minus 30 into 54 minus 30 into 54 minus 48 that is 54 can be factorized as 3 into 3 into 6, 24 into 24 into 6. Here we can have 3 into 6 into 24 is 432 meters square. So how can we find the area of ABCD? It's rhombus half portion we already got. So we can multiply it by 2. We get the area as 864 meters square. So area of the uh, field for 18 cows is given. We have to find area of grass field each cow would get equal to 864 upon 18 is 48 meters square. In this way, we can solve this question. And now the next part is an umbrella is made by stitching 10 triangular pieces of cloth of two different colors, each piece measuring 20 centimeter, 50 centimeter, and 50 centimeter. So how much cloth of each color is required for the umbrella? Because there are two colors, five parts of each color is given. First, we can find out the area of one triangle by S is equal to A plus B plus C upon 2, that is 20 plus 50 plus 50 upon 2 is 120 upon 2, that is semi perimeter equal to 60 centimeter. And we can find the area by using Heron's formula, that is root of S into S minus A into S minus B into S minus A. S is given as 60, so root of 60 into 60 minus 20 into 60 minus 50 into 60 minus 50, that is root of 60 into 40 into 10 into 10. We can find the square root by making factorization. 60 can be written as 20 into 3, 40, 20 into 2, 10 into 10. So square root of this much is 20 into 10 into root 6, that is 200 root 6 centimeter square. But what we have to find here, we can find each area of each color, that is 5 decides. So we can multiply it by 5. So we get a uh, Cloth of each design required as 5 into 200 root 6, that is 1000 root 6 centimeters square. Now, in the next part, we are given a kite. It is in the shape of a square with a diagonal 32 centimeters and an isosceles triangle of base 8 centimeters and sides 6 centimeters. Each is to be made of three different shapes. First one is in blue color. Second part is in red color, third part is a smaller triangle we are given with the sides 6 cm, 6 cm and 8 cm. So here we know the properties of diagonals of a square as diagonals of a square bisect at right angles. So we can find the area of 1 and area of shade 2 by the formula half is into height that is half into 32 into 16. Here, the half of diagonal is 16, that is the height of smaller triangle. So it is 256 centimeter square. In the third part, we are given a small triangle of sides, A equal to 8 centimeter, B 6 and C equal to 6. So we can find the semi perimeter by the formula A plus B plus C upon 2, that is 10 centimeter. Now, area of this shape, 3 equal to root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c that is 10 into 10 minus 8 into 10 minus 6 into 10 minus 6 so we get square root of 10 into 2 into 4 into 4 as 8 root 5 centimeter square Where 4 is given 2 times 10 can be written as 5 into 2 so 2 and 2 we can take as common factor so 4 to start 8 root 5 centimeter square will be the answer so in the next part, a floral design is given on a floor and it is made up of 16 tiles. 
with the triangular shape and the sides of the triangle being 9 cm, 28 cm and 35 cm. Find the cost of polishing these tiles at the rate of 50 paisa per cm square. So how to find it? First we can find the area of one tile by using Heron's formula. So here A is equal to 9 cm, B is equal to 28 cm and C is equal to 35 cm. How to find the semi perimeter by the formula A plus C, B plus C upon 2, that is 9 plus 28 plus 35 upon 2 is 72 upon 2, that is 36 centimeter. Now, area of one triangular tile we can find by Heron's formula that is root of 36 into 36 minus 9 into 36 minus 28 into 36 minus 35. So we can write this 36 as 9 into 4, 27 as 9 into 3, 8 as 4 into 2. When we are taking square root, 9 is here common, 4 is common, then root 6 is remaining. So the area of one triangular tile is 36 root 6 centimeters square. So here, the area of 16 tiles we had to find. So we can find the area of 16 tiles by multiplying this 36 root 6 by 16 that is 576 root 6 that is 576 into root of 6 is 2.45 when we are multiplying these two values we can find the area of 16 times as 1411.2 centimeters square then cost of polishing this times equal to 1,400 into 50 upon 100. Why we are multiplied by 50 upon 100? Because 50 paisa per centimeter square is given. So we can change it into root is by dividing it by 100. It is 1,411.2 into 50 upon 100. That is multiplied by 1 by 2. We can answer as 705.60. Now in this manner, we can find the area of so many triangles and also cost of different types of shapes. Now the next question is, the area of the depression is given as 475 centimeter square and the height is 19 centimeter. Find the length of parallel sides. If one side is 4 centimeter greater than the other. So already we are, you are studied about linear equations in one variable in 7 and 8 class. So we can apply this linear equation portion here and by using the formulas we can find the sides. So let b1 is equal to x and b2 is equal to x plus 4 in a division. Two bases are here. So we can take it as x other is 4 centimeter greater than the other. That means x plus 4. Height is equal to 19 centimeter. You know the formula of area of a temperature mass half h into b1 plus b2, that is sum of the parallel sides. So here area is given as 475 centimeters square and half height is 19 into. They are taken this b1 and b2 as x and x plus 4. When while we are adding, we get 2x plus 4. We can multiply 475 by 2. We get the answer as 950 equal to 2x plus 4 into 19. So it is 2x into 19 is 38x plus 4 into 19 is 76. So we can have 38 is equal to 950 minus 76. That is 874. And when we have to find the value of x, we can divide this 874 by 38, that is 23. So the sides of trapezium are, first one is B1 x, that means 23 centimeter. B2 is 4 more than this, that means 23 plus 4, that is 27 centimeter. Ma'am, we have 3 minutes left now. Yes. Now, if each side of a triangle is doubled, then find the ratio of two triangles thus formed and the given triangle. Here we are given S is equal to A plus B plus C upon 2. You know the semi perimeter of the triangle is A plus B plus C upon 2. Therefore, we can multiply these two and as 2S is equal to A plus B plus C. 
and we can find the area of a triangle by the formula root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus c. Now, suppose we are given the sides of new triangle is double. That means we can take the sides as 2a, 2b and 2c. So we can find s dash as 2a plus 2b plus 2c upon 2. When we are adding 2 is cancelling and we get a plus b plus c that is equal to 2s that is s dash is equal to 2s. Now area of this new triangle is root of 2s into 2s minus 2a into 2s minus 2b into 2s minus 2c. We can take 2 from each as common factor. So there are 4 2s. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 is 16. 16 s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus a. That is the square root of 16, that is 4. 4 into root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus a, that we can see as the area of this new triangle. So, but how can we find the ratio of these areas? By dividing these two areas, we can get the ratio of these two triangles. That is 4 into root of s into s minus a into s minus b into s minus a upon root of s into s minus a, s minus b into s minus a. And we are cancelling this. We can get the ratio as 4 ratio 1. So in the next part, the perimeter of a triangle is 50 centimeter and one side of a triangle is given as 4 centimeter longer than the smaller side. And the third side is 6 cm less than twice the smaller side. Here also the same condition we are taking. We have to find the area of a triangle. So, at first side be x, then the second be x plus 4, and c equal to 2x minus 6, 6 less than twice. So, we can take the perimeter as x plus x plus 4 plus 2x minus 6, that is equal to 50. So, we can add this x, 2x plus x plus x is 4x equal to 50 plus 2, so x is equal to 52 upon 4 is 13. And here we can find the semi perimeter by finding out the sides of the triangle as a equal to 13, b equal to 13 plus 4 is 17 centimeters, c equal to 2 into 13 minus 6 is 20 centimeters. So s is equal to 50 upon 2 is 25 centimeters. Now the area is root of 25 into 25 minus 13 into 25 minus 17 into 25 minus 20, that is root of 25 into 12 into 8 into 5. When we are factorizing this, we get the area as 20 root 30, that is, if we are finding root 30 by long division method, we get the answer as 5.48. And when we are multiplying this 20 by 5.48, we get the answer as 109.6 centimeters square. By using Heron's formula and the properties of linear equations and all the formulas related to perimeter, area of different shapes, we can solve each type of questions. Absolutely. So we don't have much more time now, uh, ma'am. We need to wind up the session here. But thank you so much uh, the time you have given to us and uh, to our audience and the way you explain all the things uh, uh, very clearly. That that is absolutely tremendous. So thank you so much once again, Ms. Pillay, for your time. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you once again to all the viewers who are watching this program. No need to go anywhere. Next program is for social science class 9 student where you understand physical features of India. Stay tuned.